laughing at me for? Because <laughs> you're so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Auxiliary Outrun Garage. This is like the third place we Ox. filmed in. The and, Ox. And called it the Outrun Garage. Listen, the Outrun Garage is where your heart is. It's anywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> anyway, today we are, and I'm very excited, installing coilovers on the E92 M3. So yes, we've done a few videos on it already. The the E30 Project E is still happening. It's just Things a little are slower. They're happening in the background. They're <laughs> happening in the background. Um, but I ordered these from a company called Raceworks. I'll put a link in the description. There's a, a link where if you follow it, you can get a discount. I'm practicing this too. Ready? Go to the intro video. <laughs> Now that the intro's done and we actually set it up this time. Yeah, we were singing that intro, the whole thing. When I, every time I edit, I have to find a spot because we don't take the time to like go into the intro. I just have to find a random spot. It was live. It was live. Yeah, it was live intro. First thing we're going to do is jack up the car. I have decided after much agonizing that I don't want to tear my carbon fiber splitter off the car. So we're going to jack it up. I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to put it up for sale. Front splitter's off. Forgot to put tape on it. Made it more <laughs> difficult than it needed to be. Is the spacer on there pretty tight? I'm uh, curious. Uh, no, it can pull it? off, and I have anti seize on it. Okay, then you but I, I just didn't know if we should take it off or like if it was gonna fall off as we're doing stuff. No, nah, not really. Okay, what's up, guys? So, and girls, we got the splitter off. You saw. Neutral term. Is it though? I don't know. What's up, pals? <laughs> pals is gender neutral. <laughs> so, Alex, uh, while I was taking the splitter off, took off the uh, inner, this is the front part of the like wheel well shield. Uh, it's just a plastic piece, nothing too exciting, like 10 bolts. What? Even though it does have an M logo on it. It does have an M logo. Those are 8 millimeter? Yes. Okay, so no, no big deal. Um, except for 110. But except for 110. So, Next, we're gonna get into removing the strut here. Uh, it's, there's sort of an order of operation. What I wanna stress, there are two things that are very important if you're doing this on any car, I believe. The bushings, let me see if I can show you. So this is the front control arm here, and this bushing, um, these, are, these are sensitive. Uh, what you don't wanna have happen is when you drop all of this, these are still tight and as a result get stressed and pulled in a way that they don't want to be. So the important thing to do first is to loosen the front control arm and then it's not really, is it the rear control arm or is it just, because no, it's in the middle. Just the other, the other, uh, the other control, control arm. Is it a separate control arm? Like a separate yeah. piece? Oh, okay, cool. I think so. Yeah, I'm just not familiar with this. Color. Yeah, it is. There's a, this lower one here. Gotcha. Oh, it's a lower control There's arm. There's the word. Hey. <laughs> Um, and then you want to make sure to disconnect any wires. We're going to pull the caliper off and I brought zip ties and bungees so we can hang it somewhere. Um, and then another key thing, before you let this drop, protect your fender. We're going to tape it up and then we're also going to jack up the caliper so that we can control that coming down. So I'll probably hold on to this while Alex lets the jack down. Well, yeah, we'll put a jack underneath the strut this way when, the, when we're dropping the strut. It's yep. not all falling to the ground. Cool. So we're just going to get to it and wrench and Alex will grab the camera if needed and show you stuff. I need to clean the inside of my car. Meh. The parts that no one ever sees. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Okay, so sway bar. You can kind of see it here. That's the the sway bar end link. Right there. Yep, sway bar end link at the top. Um, we used a, what size was that? I think it's a 16 on both sides. I had to use my, I don't know why I bought these in non-metric. This is a 3 fourths. So that got that out. Um, next we want to loosen the lower control arm, which is an 18. Oh, 
All right, so these hold the clamp tight that holds the lower portion of the strut. So next we want to loosen that, which is the lower control arm. Which so is basically the reason you're doing that is because that's going to allow the entire assembly to kind of come down a bit more. You are so. correct. Yes. All right. So these are. This is where the top of the strut is. So it's strut mount. So I just used a little flathead. Pry this up. This comes off. Throw it in the trash. No. Don't do that. So now what we need to do, and thankfully this is what's. I love that this support bar is not in the way. We just need to loosen these and get them off. Um, before we take them off, though, we want to jack up the bottom because. That is, these, these are the last things, hopefully, holding the strut in to the car. So if we've done everything else properly, that'll be that. Cool. Are we having fun? Are we having fun yet? This is everyone's favorite part of our videos, right? It's watching us. Very zen, you know? So that should mean we did everything properly. So let's go through our little list here. Uh, I took notes. I'm gonna sit down so you guys can see me. So front sway bar loosened. Mm -hmm. um, no, sorry. Sway, sway bar is bar. out. Sway bar end link was disconnected from the strut tower. Top sway bar end link out. Front control arm bushing is loose. Yep. There's no headlight positioner. Shield is removed, obviously. Clamp is loosened. We will have to pry it open a little bit more. Um, brackets for brakes and ABS are out. Caliper, we're gonna attempt this with yeah, the caliper we'll on. Yeah. The, all the videos I've watched of just E9X chassis, not M3, I can't find videos of an M3 uh, specifically. Okay. Um, they all remove the caliper. We're gonna attempt to not remove the caliper and see what happens. Um, we've got the strut tower jacked up. Or sorry, we've got the the, uh, the strut support. every everything is supported and the bolts at the top of the strut tower out. That should be everything. Cool. Let's okay. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Ah, technical difficulties. So let me show you what we're dealing with. So the strut is in this clamp housing right here. So this is just holding it through clamp force. It's pinching it. Um, there is a special tool they make that you put in here and you twist and it opens it up just enough. Uh, I watched a what I consider professionally done video and they very carefully used a uh, thick screwdriver. Apparently the one I have is not cutting it. So we're trying to find other solutions. We'll figure things out. So <laughs> what, what solved our problem? <laughs> lots, we, we put lots of WD-40 in between this clamp and then I just give it some wax with the rubber mallet and here we go. Yay. Oh my gosh. And this guy was super helpful yep. too. So yeah. let's pull that out because we actually... To no, leave it, it back, leave it in. Yeah. Yeah. This is OEM, uh, 10 years old. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. that's, that's what it gets. <laughs> you want to grab the camera? So this is the box of all the goodies. Weighs a couple pounds. Two pounds. Yep. All right. So here we've got rear springs. We'll get to the rear in a bit. Settle down, please. Okay. Boom. Get some beauty shots of these because they are pretty. So once again, company here, Raceworks172suspension.com, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, link in the description once more. Uh, if you follow that link, if you are shopping for coilovers and they make them for many cars, many, many, uh, you get a 10% discount if you follow my link, which is cool. Uh, they're not technically sponsoring this video, but get them. These are going to be sick. Uh, 
These are way, way above KW. So the entry model KWs, these are like just way above that. Way, I can't even reach that high. So KWs are like the common, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I want to lower my car, I want coilovers. Buy these. These are the Enduro, to be precise. They've got another model that's a little bit cheaper. So what have we learned during all that, Alex, so far? Oh. <laughs> uh, we learned... The strut sits differently in the clamp, yeah, but that's the, okay. The coilovers are tiny. The, the, the strut itself is shorter. Yep. Um, I guess the excess part of it, right? Right. Okay. I'm gonna make sure to strip these bolts so they don't ever come off. <laughs> we want to make sure if anyone else ever owns this car, they're just like <laughs> stuck with what happened. They need to be stuck with. <laughs> what you got? Okay. Oh, man, my back hurts from working out. Not from the car. So now it's reverse order of operations. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. So it would be retightening the lower control arm and the front control arm. And getting that clamp attached. Getting the clamp attached. Yep. ABS line, brake line put back. Mm -hmm. And then the sway bar. Yep. Connected um, to the where it uh, connects to the strut. Rolling. Okay. So we verified that the sway bar stabilizer is in the right spot. Oh my gosh. Am I loosening again? I may have switched it to loose when I was over there. I just wanted to make sure that you know the difference. Alex is always looking for opportunities to teach me. Quizzes. Constant quizzes. I'm gonna get all gymnastic on this. So... Okay, and then one thing we want to remember, and this is another hey camera. We have to change the battery in a sec. Um, before you tighten the lower control arm and the front control arm, you want to jack them up a little bit and then tighten them. Don't tighten them while they're low and then drop the car. It's like the exact opposite issue that we're trying to prevent. So, okay. So we're putting the wheel liner back on, we're gonna put the wheel itself on, and then... Wheels. We don't need wheels, we're gonna drop it onto the ground and see what happens. That'll be cool. So we'll shoot video when we get to that point. Put on my YouTube face, just kidding. What is up everyone? This is a recap of everything that you just watched to end the video. So Alex and I, as you saw, we took off the front wheel, disconnected a bunch of stuff, put the new coilover on, and then the last thing I said was we're going to set it on the ground. We did, and it wasn't quite as low as I was expecting, but we are sorting that out. Uh, we don't sort it out in the video, nor do we sort it out in the next one. It's something we're doing sort of off camera. But we got everything buttoned up, and in the next episode, we will show you how we did the rear, and that'll be all of the coilovers on the E92 M3. So I just wanted to recap a little bit because we kind of missed some stuff in the video and I didn't want to leave anybody hanging. So stay tuned for the rear, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, see you on the next episode.